After a session in the strategy room, executives and managers will be motivated to set the right goals based on cybersecurity, technical challenges, business trade-offs, and a steady focus on consequences. What is the strategy room and what goes on here? The strategy room seeks to establish a new normal for cybersecurity performance improvement and analysis expectation based on cybersecurity strategy, analytics, trade-offs, and tactics, and a calculated joint awareness of oneself and one's adversary. This video focuses on the cyber challenge, including the cybersecurity goals to which your organization is committed, the standard of excellence built into your software products, the common weaknesses and vulnerabilities already present. A subsequent video focuses on cyber tactics, including the attack outcomes being experienced, the bad actors being encountered, the consequences that attack outcomes and bad actors impose, and how do we anticipate, avoid, withstand, mitigate, and recover from them. The Operations Effectiveness Analysis of Cybersecurity Performance. The backdrop of all this, of course, is provided by the difficulty of the cybersecurity challenge itself. Plain talk alone won't get the job done. Neither will catchy slogans like rugged software and build security in. Let's begin by exploring the goal for assuring cybersecurity. Simply put, the goal of cybersecurity is to assure the trustworthiness, security, and resiliency of software components, systems, and systems of systems of all kinds, including those used in national defense and the nation's critical infrastructure. Let's look more closely at what it means to assure trustworthiness, security, and resiliency. Assuring trustworthiness focuses on building security in by constructing software components, systems, and systems of systems to an engineered standard of excellence based on completeness, correctness, and rules of construction. Completeness attributes include traceability and predecessor requirements. Correctness attributes include function commentary satisfied, single entry, single exit, input domain spanning all legal values, systematic exception handling, disciplined data structures. Rules of construction attributes include guidelines for program unit construction, system standard time defined, encapsulation, localization, and layering, logical independence, scalability, uh, fault tolerance. Assuring trustworthiness also entails avoiding known common weaknesses. These common weaknesses from the MITRE and SANS Institute study of the 25 most dangerous programming errors organized into three groups. The principal areas of neglect associated with the software engineering standard of excellence are correctness and rules of construction, which account for 22 of the 25 most dangerous programming errors. Notice that completeness, while an important attribute in the standard of excellence, is not the driver here. Correctness is the driver, followed by rules of construction. So here it is fair to say that the underlying root cause of cybersecurity vulnerability is the programmer who needs to write correct code and know it. It comes down to ad hoc programming versus structured programming and disciplined software engineering. Without disciplined software engineering, there is no cybersecurity protection. Assuring security focuses on protection from vulnerabilities and threats through security in depth. However, perimeter defense and firewalls have limitations and have shown they can be compromised. They may close the gate in some places, but in other places there is no fence. Protective measures include encryption, identity management, access control, authorization management, accountability management, incident management, Configuration Management, Security Assurance Operations. Assuring resiliency under stress focuses on anticipating, avoiding, withstanding, mitigating, and recovering from the effects of adversity, whether natural or man-made, 
under all circumstances of use. However, denial of service remains one of the most challenging attack outcomes, and resiliency engineering is the only effective antidote. Features of resiliency engineering include coordinated recovery time objectives, digital situation awareness, distributed supervisory control, selective availability, operation sensing and monitoring, information and data recovery, interoperability of data and information exchange. A cyber strategy is a policy composed of a collection of defined trade-offs made in advance with implementing tactics ready for deployment based on these factors. Where the inevitability of a cyber attack is a given, the power of trading off acceptance of some consequences in order to avoid or limit other consequences should not be ignored. How much lost opportunity, loss of availability, and loss of privacy are we willing to trade off to, ex to avoid cleanup and recovery costs and loss of trust impact? The power of the shutdown as a tactical instrument to trade off consequences should not be underestimated. Upon shutdown, we immediately incur lost opportunity and loss of availability. In order to avoid or limit cleanup and recovery costs, and loss of trust and loss of privacy impacts. The power of the social contract as an instrument to implement trade-offs should not be overlooked. Where civility is defined as the sacrifices we make for others, perhaps an appeal to civility would prompt people to agree to sacrifice some level of privacy in order to promote a higher level of security for others. Here, civility would lubricate the trade-off between security and privacy. However, the catalyst needed to spark the social contract is leadership, not always available. The challenges in culture, governance, shared ownership, and accountability may be larger than the challenges of IT. These come into play as soon as we start assigning priorities. Trading off consequences is situational. For example, consider the strategic priority ranking of consequences by reputation, economics, mission, and competitiveness in the table shown. <clears throat> there are consequences in prioritizing consequences. In the reputation scenario, the highest consequences to avoid are loss of trust and loss of privacy, followed by loss of opportunity <clears throat> and loss of availability, and then cleanup and recovery. The financial services sector, where trust is all important, fits the reputation scenario. In the economics scenario, the highest consequences to avoid are lost opportunity and loss of availability, followed by cleanup and recovery, and then loss of trust and loss of privacy. The energy sector fits the economic scenario. In the mission scenario, the highest consequences to avoid are lost opportunity loss of availability, and loss of trust, followed by the loss of privacy, and then cleanup and recovery. The telecommunications sector fits the mission scenario. In the competitiveness scenario, an organization may place a high value on the proprietary information, uh, where the highest consequences to avoid are lost opportunity, loss of trust, and loss of privacy, followed by cleanup recovery, and perhaps loss of availability. The high-tech sector, led by Apple Computer, fits the competitiveness scenario. Here's my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.